Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, what is the most annoying problem with being a front-end developer? So let's get into it. <clears throat> Ooh, just picking one thing, that's gonna be tricky. There's so many things. But all right, I will, I will go with the one that gives me uh, that has given me so far the most frustration and probably the one that most people can relate to uh, relate to it so I'm not going to talk about bundle sizing and like incorrect usage of libraries and stuff like that which is one of my favorites but I will talk about the opinion problem the ad hoc decision problem the problem that when you do any type of UI work you are consider like it's uh, it's very, very frustrating that you you work within a context where everybody has an opinion on everything that you do. And the difficulty with this is that it, that leads to quite a lot of ad hoc decisions or a situation where you basically have to redo work over and over and over because people change their minds. To this day, I have never ever seen a single story delivery where you implemented the UI as specification stated and then everybody was just happy with it. People change things all the time and they do so because it's very easy to have an opinion on UI. It's the Backend developers usually don't have this problem because what you do is complete magic to pretty much every stakeholder so they leave you alone as long as the thing is doing what it's supposed to be doing they won't really change their minds all that much they will just accept that you did your job right but as soon as they can see a UI or interact with it or something like that it doesn't matter how much you talked it doesn't matter how hard you tried you will almost always get to a point where either you need to do a few, few tweaks of a few pixels here or make that font bigger even though it's the same damn font you have on the rest of the web page because in this context it doesn't look right so now you have a one-off solution here even though you know you're supposed to try to go for standards and things like that it doesn't matter because now somebody needs you to kind of do this and then you of course have things such as it's almost impossible and I think that this is not true just for front-end developers it's a, I would say it's probably even more frustrated for web designers where you can put in hours and hours and hours of work into creating a design do user testing and all of this good stuff right and then all that has to happen is for some business for, for the business to come in and say that hey we have this big client and now they want to support theming or they want their own logo or their own brand on our website and all of a sudden all that work kind of falls to shit because the problem with good design is that it's not it, it, there is no I mean it's either good or it's not good like uh, you can of course it's very hard to make something a great user experience when business gets involved because usually business isn't about the user experience, it's about money, it's about signing a deal, signing a contract of some sort and you always, 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 always lose as anybody who works within engineering or design when it comes to money. You will always have to, uh, to kind of fold in that scenario, you can't win that argument and that is very frustrating when you put a lot of effort and work into making something that is truly either beautiful as a designer or you make something that is highly efficient or something that is very well worked uh, worked out and well structured as a developer and then as time goes along you get no, new features and new behaviors where you create all of these inconsistencies and you create all of these permutations and the issue with this is that the more of this stuff you have, the more inconsistent and the less high quality the application uh, will feel. It will, it will simply feel inconsistent and low quality and you can't really stop it. You, it's very, it's, that's kind of the nature of how most businesses evolve. And then you, on top of all of this, the, you will feel, I promise you, you will feel this frustration where things just keep on decaying you just have to kind of ad hoc things in to a point where 
you finally just sit there, you know, you, I, at least I did, I, you kind of get almost angry when people just come over to you for the fifth time and say, no, well, actually, you know, it should be this way. It's like kind of like moving furniture with a really annoying person who just keeps on saying, just changing their mind. No, put the sofa in that row. No, 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 actually, no, put it in that row. You know what? You were right. It should have been in the first room in the first, like having this is like truly, truly frustrating. So what I want you to take away from this is that at least for me, the most frustrating part of being like a, if I just can pick one thing, being a front end developer or a web designer or anything like that, is the fact that it's so easy for every single person to have an opinion about the work that you do. And because they have an easy time with this, they change their minds almost all the time. To this day, I still haven't seen a single delivery of a front end story or any type of UI story where uh, it's not at, at there where people haven't at least made a few changes just often like w for whatever reason. Like we can, you can never really truly nail down something and just be happy with it. It always has to go a few times through a few stakeholders. If you ask five people in the room, does this look good? And they say all say yes then you build it and then you show them and then they have changed, when that happens, they've already changed their minds. And that is truly frustrating because that either means that you have to kind of ad hoc or shim in the new thing that they want, or you have to redo the whole thing from scratch. And this is how legacy code gets created in the first place. Because if you make a bunch of assumptions about something and then they might have a desire to change something that kind of messes up everything, then you only have a choice or you have two choices. Either you have to hack it together or you have to change the whole thing. And usually, you can, as you can imagine, you're forced to hack it together. That doesn't feel good. Have a great day.